On December 21, the National Telecommunications Commission, or NTC, suspended the operations of Sunshine Media Network International on radio and television. This move came after the House of Representatives passed a resolution urging the NTC to suspend the network due to alleged violations. For SMNI, this was unacceptable, especially since the network was not given the opportunity to explain and respond to the NTC's show cause order before the suspension was imposed. It should be noted that immediately after issuing the show cause order, the NTC promptly enforced the suspension order, making it immediately executory. This suggests that the NTC imposed a penalty on the network even before the scheduled hearing on the allegations. Hence, on Thursday morning, SMNI, through its lawyers, Attorney Mark Delentino and Attorney Rolex Suplico, approached the Court of Appeals to file a complaint against the NTC. The network filed for certiorari and mandamus, accompanied by an appeal urging the CA to issue a temporary restraining order and or preliminary injunction to halt the implementation of the suspension order. Pumunta kami dito para humingi ng ustisya sa pang-aabuso ng ahensya ng gobyerno. Yan po ay National Telecommunications Commission. Sinupil nila ang aming karapatan sa mamahayang pabahayag without giving us our day in court. Imagine mo? Hindi kami binigyan. Kung ito ay makamangyayari sa SMNI, ito ay maaaring mangyari mas ikarino man dito ngayon sa press conference na ito. Uh, we were given 15 days to file our response sa NTC. But ang problema nito, binigyan nga kami ng pagkakataon na mag-respond but may suspension na. So in this case, that is a grave violation ng ating saligang batas, yung tinatawag na grave abuse of discretion amounting to lack or excess of jurisdiction. So wala silang jurisdiction na ginagawa nito Inabuso po nila yung kapangyarihan nila. According to SMNI's lawyers, the NTC's strict adherence to the House resolution is fundamentally flawed as it is not within its mandate to blindly follow legislative dictates. Gumagawa sila ng desisyon ng suspension na walang due process dahil lang sa recommendation ng House of Representatives na wala pa namang uh, due process, hindi pa tayo pinagbigyan ng pagkakataon. Don't forget, Ang NTC may tinatawag silang quasi-judicial function. Ang quasi-judicial function is part of the executive department. Yung pag-influensya pag ng, ng House of Representatives to the NTC is in violation ng ating saligang batas, lalo na yung principle of separation of power. Hindi maaring i-adapt ng NTC ang ginawa ng House because ang House po, Ibang poder yun, inquiry in aid of legislation. Ang ginawa nila, sinurender nila, ginib up nila yung bataan at niyakap nila ang kamara. Mali po yun, maling mali, nawalan sila ng independence. The legal team further argues that if there were any violations in certain SMA programs, then the entire network should not be adversely affected. Dalawang programa lang sa SMA ang nireklamo, yung po ay gikan sa masa para sa masa at yung laban kasamang bayan. Bakit yung buong network ay pinarusahan? Di ba dapat ang kasalanan ni Pedro kay Pedro lang? Hindi mo isabihin na buong network ay may kasalanan? Pangalawa, tama yun, may mga complaints laban sa amin. Di ba pag nagsampa ka ng complaint, allegation lang yun, wala pang prebas. Pakinggan mo muna kami. Attorney Suplico also said that the actions taken by the NTC could potentially have a chilling effect and other journalists in the country. Ano epekto sa lahat? Sa industriya, sa ibang mga radio station, sa ibang TV stations, sa mga dyaryo. Anong epekto? Chilling effect. Nakabahan ka na. Bawal pala mag-criticize sa office of the speaker. Yun ang ano eh. Bawal pala mag-criticize sa members ng mga ng kamara. Yun ang epekto nitong ginawang pag uh, bubusal sa SMNI. For God and my beloved country, the Philippines, this is Valdivina Gracia, SMNI News.